Yeah, good morning to everyone. And uh, today we are going to see uh, costoclavicular block in this patient. And uh, you can see the logistics of the video, how the probe is being kept. Uh, uh, take a high frequency linear probe, keep it uh, in the medial uh, region below the clavicle. And uh, you can see the uh, pectoralis major there, subclavis muscle, the axillary vein and the axillary artery. And uh, here you can see uh, uh, after initiating the Doppler, you can see uh, that the cephalic vein is uh, emptying into the uh, uh, axillary vein. And uh, for the detailed anatomy, sonoanatomy of the costoclavicular space, you can always uh, refer to the costoclavicular sonoanatomy video in our channel. And uh, that will give you a good detail about that. As we scan it on the lateral uh, infraclavicular region, uh, it becomes the lateral infraclavicular block. Now in this video, you can see uh, the probe being kept in the costoclavicular space and uh, the local uh, local anesthesia is being injected. Once local is injected, uh, now you can see the axillary vein and the axillary artery and the uh, three cords there. Uh, uh, on the superior part, you can uh, you can see the uh, lateral cord and uh, be uh, below it, you can see the medial cord and the posterior cord. So as you see the needle injecting, this is echogenic 22 gauge uh, uh, pageant needle. Uh, you can see the echogenicity of the needle and the placement of the needle is between the medial cord and the posterior cord. So generally the, the authors who recommended this technique actually did a single point injection, but there have been publications of uh, two point injections, but generally a uh, single point or two point injection is uh, uh, very good according to in our experience. So here you can see the lateral cord, the posterior cord and the medial cord, which is being named there. And uh, the needle is being kept between the lateral cord and the connective tissue surrounding the posterior cord and the medial cord. Generally, posterior cord and the medial cord is surrounded in a connective tissue. So uh, that is why the two point injection came and you can see the needle uh, which is being kept between the lateral cord and the posterior cord and uh, uh, local anesthetic is being injected there. And uh, generally we use dual guidance that is PNS and ultrasound guidance and uh, we give the drug once we get this uh, get uh, uh, stimulation at uh, 0.4 to 0.6 milliamperes and uh, generally we use 15 to 20 ml of local anesthetic and uh, i prefer uh, giving 15 ml of local anesthetic uh, generally we use 0.75% uh, ropuacaine or 0.5% uh, uh, levobupacaine uh, along with an uh, adjuvant and uh, if we uh, require a good postoperative analgesia generally we use 4 milligram of dexamethasone or 20 mics of dexmet. So here you can see the local anesthetic. Generally what I do is uh, I uh, uh, place the local anesthetic that is uh, uh, of, uh, like uh, in one injection I just keep uh, 7 ml around the lateral cord and uh, give uh, 10 ml uh, between the posterior cord and the medial cord. So here you can see uh, local anesthetic being injected. Yeah, you can see the lateral cord nicely being separated. Now the needle is between the posterior cord and the medial cord. So as the drugs are being deposited, uh, you can see the cephalic, uh, you can see the axillary vein and the axillary artery pulsating there. So uh, you can, uh, in this video, you can clearly see the connective tissue separating the lateral cord and the medial cord. So usually the posterior cord and the middle cord is uh, uh, nicely uh, uh, placed in a uh, connected tissue and uh, the advantage of this costoclavicular block is uh, that you can always place a catheter and catheter displacement is uh, uh, unusual in this place. So uh, if at all you we use a catheter, uh, I think uh, medial infraclavicular block that is costoclavicular block is uh, very much advised and the advantage of this block is uh, that uh, the three cords are just placed lateral in most of the cases at least 95 percent of patients we see that uh, the three cords are placed laterally laterally to the axillary artery and one more thing which we need to remember is there is a case report uh, 
so it is always good to place a doppler near the cords because we can always uh, it is better to uh, find an aberrant artery which can run in uh, very rare cases so it is better to uh, put the doppler and before you do the block so uh, five to ten minutes and you uh, have a very good uh, onset of block of uh, this technique so you can see the markings there the lateral cord the middle cord and the posterior cord thank you